Christ's second coming. We believe that the second coming of Jesus Christ will be visible and audible to all mankind. Revelation 1, 7 Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, Amen. Matthew 24 30 And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Mark 13 26, 27 And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then shall he send his angels, and shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. Acts 1, 9 11 And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. 1 Thessalonians 4 16, 17 For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. The children of God throughout all ages have with great longing waited for this glorious event. Enoch, the seventh from Adam, preached about it. Abraham, looked for a city, whose builder and maker is God. The prophets prophesied of it and Jesus gave the conclusive assurance that he will come again to take his bride, the church, to be with him. Matthew 5, 8 Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Jude 14, 15 And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints, to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Hebrews 11, 8 10 By faith Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing whither he went. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise, for he looked for a city which hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. John 14. 1 Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. Those who have waited for Jesus' return will shout for joy at the sight of his appearing, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord, we have waited for him, we will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Isaiah 25, 9 And it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God, we have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord, we have waited for him, we will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. The return of Jesus Christ is the climax of the plan of redemption. The resurrected and living believers will then be caught up in the clouds with the Lord Jesus to be with him forever. The signs of the times, of which Jesus spoke in Matthew 24, Luke 21, and Mark 13, show us that Christ's return is very near. 2 Peter 3 9 12 The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us ward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, 
the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat? 1 Thessalonians 5 Two to seven for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light, and the children of the day, we are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore let us not sleep, as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. 2 Timothy 3, 1 5 This know also, that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, trucebreakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, hymended, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. Revelation 19 7 8 Let us be glad and rejoice, and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. The day and hour of his coming are hidden from us. Therefore, we should be prepared at all times. Matthew 24 36 But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Matthew 24 42-44 Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good men of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched, and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh.